on news you can use. I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, something that is going to catch everybody in the side that nobody's been expecting. But first, uh, a typical California thing. Uh, article was in the Los Angeles Times uh, yesterday. Bacon may disappear in California as pig rules take effect. Now, I wasn't aware that there was a bacon shortage until I went to uh, the store yesterday and I was looking around for my favorite bacon and I couldn't find it. And so I thought, well, I'll get my second favorite bacon. I couldn't find it either. So it. I'm done. <laughs> it, it's the craziest thing. I was absolutely not aware that there was some bacon Mahaskas thing going on out there. I would have bought a bunch more. So I ran over to Walmart figuring, okay, they'll have a bunch and they usually do and they had none. So later last night, I read this article and I wasn't even aware, even though I've lived here my whole life, I was not aware that we had passed a bill um, a, uh, here in California, we have a proposition bill, which essentially allows the constitution, uh, the constituents of California to go ahead and make a change to the constitution. We passed one of these things in 2018. And basically what it said was um, we have to, we have new standards for the animal welfare of pigs and that California will not allow any bacon to be bought in. This would be starting January 1, 2022. So another six months or, or less from now, uh, it, unless these uh, pigs had been traded humanely with distance, like social distancing between pigs uh, before they're killed, which makes no sense at all. But anyway, um, evidently only 4% of the hog operations in the U.S. will comply with this. And so we're already seeing massive bacon shortages here in California. We are just a bunch of idiots out here, guys. It's the unfreaking believable thing. Uh, and the article goes on to talk about, you know, the people who voted for this thing are now screaming and like, well, we didn't think that would actually have an effect on our ability to eat bacon or ham or anything else, but it is. So uh, California is actually the largest pig pork producing state, as you might imagine. Uh, we consume 255 million pounds of pork a month, but, and we're, we're also the largest farming state. In fact, Fresno, California, where I am, Fresno County is the largest farming county uh, in the country. In fact, we produce enough food here to basically supply the entire U.S. with food. Um, but we only produce about 45 million pounds of the pork that we need here in California. So basically one fifth. Um, it's just the craziest thing. I'll keep you guys updated, but it looks like, you know, actually we're, we're not going to have bacon out here or ham or anything else. It's crazy. Um, the land of fruits and nuts, everybody. All right, now the big news that I want to talk about, and this was going to be, uh, this is totally unexpected out there. This is the law of un unintended consequences. And this is a result of what the federal government has done uh, with regard to how they dealt with uh, the COVID thing. Um, as of Labor Day coming up, which is I think September 6th, there is not going to be any more national unemployment benefits for Americans. Um, they, there is no, it's called a benefits cliff. You know, there's been this extra program since March of 2020 to give a lot of people, uh, you know, extra money. And you, you guys have all heard this story. We see it a lot here in California where people may have had a service job and they may have made 40,000 a year. But if you go on unemployment, you could make 60 or 70 or 80,000 sitting at home. So you know, we're suffering here in California, for example, for a big problem. We can't get people, you know, wait staff and things like that. Nobody wants to go back to work because it's better for them to stay home and collect government benefits and actually go work, take a cut and pay. Uh, well, that benefits cliff is going to end and there is no national appetite for extending that. That is going to happen uh, September 6th. Right now, they're estimating that it's going to affect 9 million people. Um, and the only thing that's going to help out these folks is if there is some state unemployment benefits, which here in California, I guess the money we're saving on not buying bacon, we're going to put it in the unemployed. But uh, that's 9 million people that are going to adversely affect the unemployment rate, which in addition to the housing issues that started here on the 1st of August, in other words, no more federal moratoriums for 
uh, eviction or for uh, foreclosure for uh, type things. Uh, we're going to have a huge amount of unemployed people in this country starting, you know, mid mid early early to mid September. So that's coming. That will also affect the economy. And I'll, I'll give you more new CNBC just reported on it Sunday. Uh, and it said everybody is not looking this direction. Everybody's talking about the housing issues, but really we're going to have an underlying unemployment thing too, which will affect the number of people that can buy a house or can get into a, a new rental. So anyway, lots of good news today. And uh, I would just encourage everybody to stick with your day job if you got one. Uh, and if it's uh, housing, uh, you know, as a real estate investor, increase everything you're doing so that you can make more money because there's going to be a lot of people, uh, you know, slurping at the public trough and wanting money from everybody else. And it will be up to all of us who are still making an income to pay for that. Anyway, good news. 